Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 23. Truly in vain is salvation hope for from the hills and from the multitude of mountains. Truly in the Lord our God is the salvation of Israel. Good morning, sunshines. We are great. And we're also extraordinary and excellent in Christ Jesus. Seven other spirits more wicked than himself. Read in your own study, Matthew chapter 12, verses 43 through 45. When you just give up on the Lord, you open up doors and find yourself a backslider. Jeremiah chapter 3 verses 11 through 14 it is written and the Lord said unto me the backsliding Israel had justified herself more than treacherous Judah Go and proclaim these words toward the north, and say, Return, thou backsliding Israel, saith the Lord, and I will not cause my anger to fall upon you. For I am merciful, saith the Lord, and I will not keep anger forever. Only acknowledge thine iniquity, that thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy God, and hast scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree. And ye have not obeyed my voice, saith the Lord. Turn, O backsliding children, saith the Lord, for I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city and two of a family and I will bring you to Zion. Hide this proverb in thine heart. Proverbs chapter 14 verse 14 and 15 It is written The backslider in heart shall be filled with his own ways and a good man shall be satisfied from himself the simple believeth every word but the prudent man looketh well to his going we have sinned against the Lord our God repentance is the first step faith and belief in his son Jesus Christ he died on the cross for you and I so we can have eternal life give your life to Jesus this day then Peter said unto them repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost Jesus he bled on a cross for you and I he was pierced in his side they mocked spat at him had no respect for my Savior reverence the Lord fear him because God sent his only begotten son for you and I return unto the Lord while you still have an opportunity Jesus he loves you Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 20 it is written we acknowledge, O Lord, 
our wickedness and the iniquity of our fathers. For we have sinned against thee. Let's be accountable for ourselves, saints. And let's preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. There's a lost and dying world out there. And people are being possessed these days because of the spirits they don't have control. They need the Holy Spirit to keep them. That is your power to tread down the serpents and the scorpions. Realize that is your only power. The Holy Ghost. Have a blessed day.